Hello everyone! So in my last video, I said I was going to be talking about style, how to find your style, if you even need to actively look for a style. Um, and I also mentioned that I was super busy and I was super busy and I'm already a day late with posting this video. I'm very sorry. Um, I am going to catch up. So because I'm super busy, I'm actually going to change what I've been talking about. So I'm going to be talking about ways that you can fill your sketchbook. So I originally set up this channel because I wanted to connect with other people who like using creative creativity as a way to de-stress. <laughs> so I was getting quite stressed out and doing art makes me feel a lot more relaxed and mellow. But I'm very aware that there is some kind of building pressure and I'm not interested in that. So I'm trying to not let that become a thing. Um, it was all meant to be fun. It's always been about just having fun. So that's what we're gonna go for. For the fun. So maybe you're thinking, ah, yeah, L, I, I, I want to do those things, but I don't know what to draw. I don't know how to do it. Um, well, good. Then let's help each other out. So I've put together some ideas of what you can do if you want to fill your sketchbook or fill a piece of paper. And please don't forget, do subscribe if you're interested in the content in this channel. If you're interested in art and improving your art skills and also using the time to relax and be chill then please please do subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any um, things you want to talk about things you would like to improve on drawing painting let's discover them together i will share my knowledge you guys share yours let's create a community that's the whole idea I promise in the future I will talk about style because it's actually a subject that I'm really interested in. Uh, it was one of the first things I came across when I tried to do anything arty and looked into YouTube and whatnot. So I'm definitely going to bring it up at some point. But for now, I'm going to let voiceover L tell you the rest. I don't want to talk too much during this video. So I'm just going to be giving you some ideas on what you can use if you want to be drawing or you want to be painting and you just don't know what to use. So the main idea that I use in this video is the idea of a travel journal or an art journal. So I used a trip that I went on to, to Norway and I'd never been to Norway before and I thought, hey, you know what would be a great idea? If you're like me, you take loads of photos and videos and they go on your computer and they go in the files and I, I flick through them occasionally and I print a couple of them off but I don't print all of them off and they just sit in their folder and that's kind of what they just sit there but now here is a perfect reason to use them because what you've created is just a library of references for yourself and what's even better is they're things that you personally found interesting on your own holiday or on your own trip because you don't have to go on holiday you could just walk out the front door take some pictures on your local walk if you've got to go on a walk with a dog take a camera so the perfect thing is it's already there and the best thing about them being things that are relevant to you is that they mean that little bit more to you you'll find them more interesting so if you're struggling with what to draw Maybe pull out the photos from your favourite holiday to Greece, paint some beaches, or draw some beaches. It's the perfect reason to look back on all of those brilliant photos and memories that you have. So in this one, I'm using the cabins from around the accommodation where I was staying in Norway. I thought they were so adorable. Now I have included some videos to show you the references. So you'll see in a minute all of the cabins that I was talking about.
Welcome to Bergen. That's me, just giving a little wave. So these are two of the pets that I was staying with. The first one is Maya, which apparently I spelt wrong. And I, I would say that was Maya, but it's Maya. And the other dog is called Charlie. So as you can see, I've not just used architecture, I've literally used anything that's right in front of me. So I have dog, I have pet references or animal references. I've got some architecture. I've got some people, as you can see here, although technically they're not people, they're statues, but statues are actually brilliant and a lot of fun to draw because the sculptor a lot of the time has used a little bit of their artistic influence and maybe their expressions or faces are a little bit more exaggerated than perhaps in real life. So they're a lot of fun to draw. As you can see with the second one, I kind of got the volumes wrong. It's not where I'd want it to be, but you know, that is why we practice. We live and learn. All of these drawings that I've done, I use my Windsor & Newton travel watercolor set. And with the first page, I used that while I was in Norway, which I've never done before. So I'm actually quite glad that I did because I thought it was going to be fiddly and annoying and it really actually wasn't that bad. It was, it was good. I also used some fine liner pens and some colouring pencils. So this little picture that I did was a reference of partway going up partway up a mountain called the Floyen. The Floyen? Floyen. Made it. To up the, the Floyen. I still haven't learned how to say that name. Floyen. And this mountain is like 320 meters above sea level. And I'm not really sure reference wise if that's especially big, probably not, but it really felt like it because we walked up and my goodness. So there are some ideas. If you want to do some drawing or some painting, you don't know what to do, use your holiday photos because it doesn't just have to be pictures of the beach. You can use the people you are with. You can use food that you ate, you can use animals that you saw, and it will also mean something a little bit more personal to you. And I think that would make a perfect little memory to put in your sketchbook. Thank you so much for joining me on this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.